This video will cover the topic, Finding the Time in a Word Problem on Compound Interest. To start, let's look at the compound interest formula. A equals P multiplied by 1 plus R over N, all raised to the NT power. A represents the final amount. P represents the initial amount. R represents the annual interest rate, and N represents the number of times that interest is compounded per year. Next, let's look at an example problem for this topic. Suppose that $5,000 is placed in a savings account at an annual rate of 2.5%, compounded semi-annually. Assuming no withdrawals are made, how long will it take for the account to grow to $6,500. Do not round any intermediate computations and round your answer to the nearest hundredth. Okay, now that we're looking at an example problem, how do we identify the variables based on the word problem given? Good question. The $5,000 is the amount placed in the account initially, so this value represents the P or principal. Next, the rate is given as 2.5% compounded semi-annually, meaning twice per year. And since the interest is compounded twice per year, n is equal to 2. The problem asks for the length of time needed for the account to reach $6,500. So does this value represent the final amount? Exactly. And since time is the only variable in the equation, that is not given in the example problem, let's substitute the values into the equation, leaving t as the variable. This yields 6500 equals 5000 multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.025 divided by 2, all raised to the 2t power. Simplifying the parentheses as much as possible, yields 1.3 equals 1.0125, all raised to the 2t power. How do we further simplify this equation if the variable t is part of the exponent? Good question. Since t is in the exponent, we can take the common logarithm of both sides of the equation to yield log of 1.3 equals 2t multiplied by the log of 1.0125. To further isolate t, we can divide both sides of the equation by 2 log of 1.0125, then substitute this equation into the Alex graphing calculator to yield t equals 10.56, after rounding to the nearest hundredth. Okay, I think I'm starting to understand this topic but can we do another quick example just to be sure? Sure. Suppose that $2,500 is placed in a savings account at an annual rate of 3.3% compounded monthly. Assuming no withdrawals are made, how long will it take for the account to grow to $3,500? Do not round any intermediate computations and round your answer to the nearest hundredth. Since the problem asks for monthly compounding, n equals 12 in this equation, and we're solving for t again, right? Exactly. Substituting these values into the equation yields 3500 equals 2500 multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.033 over 12, all raised to the 12t power. Simplifying this equation yields 1.4 equals 1.00275, all raised to the 12t power. Next, we take the common logarithm of both sides, yielding log of 1.4 equals 12t times the log of 1.00275. And then by further isolating t, the equation will read t equals log of 1.4 divided by 12 times the log of 1.00275, which yields 
which reduces to t equals 10.21, after rounding to the nearest hundredth. Okay, I think I understand this topic now, but let me quickly summarize just to be sure. We start by determining the values for each variable in the compound interest formula, and then substitute each variable into the equation. Next, we simplify the equation and take the common logarithm of both sides, using the logarithm of a power property to isolate t, and then input the equation into the Alex graphing calculator to solve for our final answer. That's right.